beginning a knotted strand. Whenever using hand tools, always wear safety goggles. <laughs> beginning a knotted strand requires three of the beginning pearls or beads to be reamed to make the holes large enough for a double strand of the stringing material. Please see be battery operated bead reamer instructions on YouTube. The three pearls have been reamed enough for the silk to go through twice. We'll be using a um, clasp and French wire. The French wire will act as a shield on the silk. That'll keep the, the silk from wearing at the clasp. Using a beetle on Italian flush cutter, carefully cut two pieces of French wire. These two pieces should be the same length. You may have to trim in, in the case that the two are not the same size. These will both be used for the ends of the clasp. Longer if the clasp diameter of the um, ring is larger, they'll be smaller if the diameter is smaller. You want the two to be equal. Using beetle on needle on silk, tie a double knot onto the end. The double knot is required because you have previously reamed the beads to have a larger hole, so a single knot would slide through. Tie the knot, then string on the three pearls. String on one of the French wire. And run this all the way to the end of the silk strand. Leave the French wire about an inch and a half to two inches away from the pearls and string on the clasp. Push the needle through the third bead that you strung on and carefully pull the silk through making sure not to let it tangle. Carefully place the French wire about at the center of the loop and then pull until the French wire forms a little loop. This loop shields the silk from wearing at the clasp. Once you have all the slack taken up there Tie an overhand knot with the two loose ends of silk. Insert this, the needle into the second pearl that you strung on. Pulling the silk through. And once again, you have the two ends to tie the knot. Take the needle back through the first pearl that you had strung on. Pull that nice and snug. At this point, you would use beetle on bead stringing glue to glue this portion 
of the silk. Carefully remove the tip, then just hold with your fingers allowing the heat of your hand to create a very, very small amount of glue. Then carefully place that small amount right in between the two pieces of silk. The glue will wick down into the hole and glue the two pieces of silk together. Carefully place the tip back on and set aside. This gives you the beginning of a, of a professionally done beginning of a knotted strand. At this point, after the glue dries, you would cut the short end and then begin knotting with the Beetle-On Knotter. Please see the YouTube video of the Beetle-On Knotter tool.